Hey everybody, today we're making a chicken hoop coop for the winter for the ladies and Jack. And the first thing we did was yesterday, we went out and grabbed a bunch of lumber. Well, the very first thing that we did was watch some YouTube videos from other people to see uh, how they've done it. So we're kind of copying and putting together a couple different styles that we've seen. And so what we're gonna do is, what you see behind me, we got four, Got it. Four, two by 12 by 12 boards. And this is gonna be one wall, one, one length of the hoop coop. We're gonna brace it with some two by fours that we're cutting into little bracing sections and they're about a little under 24 inches each. Cause as you can see, they're sitting on top of each other. So what we're gonna do is put those all together. We're gonna cut up the two by fours. We're gonna put the braces on the wall and we'll come back and we'll show you what that looks like in the next video. Okay, so we have our braces for our wall all cut and ready to go. And now we are just going to attach them to our side right here. Okay, so here's the materials list for this chicken hoop coop project that we're building for the chickens so that they can stay nice and warm for the winter. And then in the spring, we'll probably use it for turkeys or sheep to sleep in, right, Joshua? Yeah, and cows. And cows maybe, right? All right, so here's what we had to get. We got for each wall, four two by 12 by 12s for a total of eight two by 12 by 12 boards. And then for the back of the structure, we have two two by 12 by eights. So lengthwise, uh, as the coop runs, it'll be 24 feet. It'll be eight feet wide because the front of the coop, we're just going to put a two by four down and then we'll frame a door in. And you'll see how that looks later in the video. Um, but right now, Stephanie is putting some braces, getting the braces we cut on the, from the two by fours onto the two by 12 by 12. So for the two by fours, we literally just grabbed, I grabbed like 10 or 11 two by fours just so we had a bunch and we may, if we need more later, we can get some, but we don't really, I don't think we will need them. Um, materials wise, obviously we got our saw, the circular saw to cut the braces from the two by fours and the job bucket. We got some fence staples. Uh, one and a half inches. This is to put the uh, cattle panel roof on, which I'll show you in a second. Got some twist ties to to attach the cattle panels together to themselves. Some more fence staples. We have some poultry nut staples so that the front and back for the coop we can uh, hammer in with those. And then for the door itself, I grabbed two three and a half inch uh, gate hinges and a actual oops, gate latch for that. And then besides that, we got a cattle panel. Cattle panel, we're gonna bow, we're gonna bend, and it's gonna go right over the top of the structure. So because this is gonna be a 24 foot hoop coop, and each cattle panel is 16 feet long, four feet wide, since it's 24 feet long for the whole structure, I had to get six cattle panels. Six times four is 24, right? Yep. So that makes sense. So that's the materials. And then from there, we'll just be piecing this wall, these walls together. We're gonna get the frame up today, maybe the hoops in place, and we'll show you as we go. So we just hauled our side walls out to the field. Hindsight should have built it out in the field because they're a hundred, couple hundred pounds. Um, just a good hundo. Just a good several hundo pounds. <laughs> but uh, we've got the side coming on now so they can stand up and then we're gonna build the other side in 
had the hoops. All right, here's a look at the first cattle panel that we bowed up and put in. So as you can see, we just bowed it, use those fence nails, the U-nails. I think they're one and three quarter inch nails. I did five per panel. And then the rest of it we'll just put in here. We got about five more panels to put in. We'll go from there. Just wanted to show you the end of day one progress on the chicken hoop house. So we've got our frame, which is the two foot high wall. And then this front open part is where we're gonna build the door for us to have access. And then the cattle panels are forming the arch. What I really like about it with the two foot high walls is that it makes the arch high enough for us to go in and out easily um, so that we can be in here and take care of stuff without having to like scoop over or anything like that. So today the focus is building the frame for the door, getting the chicken wire on the back and the front side. And then we have some greenhouse plastic on order, which is what we'll put over the top. That will help to warm the structure during the winter for the chickens so it's warm enough for them and we have some nesting boxes on order for them to lay in. That's progress day one. Go. Oh hey I didn't see you there. We <laughs> were framing in the door for the hoop coop and so I'm moving the brackets the braces from the end a little bit in so I can put the bottom of the door frame in. It's a little less than eight feet, uh, so I had to cut the two by four a little bit. And then, so as you can see, I'm gonna screw in the, the base here to hold the two walls together, then we'll build a door frame on, on that. And it should be probably a little under eight feet. So I'm gonna have to cut the two by fours to fit. So I'll measure this out and we'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. Checking back in on this hoop coop project. Doing all the work in the garage today because you can see it's pretty cold and snowy outside, so that's okay. So today we're putting together the door. We put the frame in. Last That was the last step of the project that we completed. So today we're putting in this door. So I measured inside the frame to make sure that there was a uh, about a quarter inch gap between the inside of the frame and the actual door itself. And then measure the full length that you want uh, for the rumba. Make sure that when you're doing your cutting, you're, you're including this top wedge part in that length and you're not cutting it, saying that this is the length and cutting the wedge up here because then it'll be too long. That's a pretty common mistake. So this is the length, this is the width. As you can see, I cut the corners this way instead of trying to lay the two by four just on top of the other two by fours, uh, just because my screws weren't long enough. So I just cut the corners that way. And next, just gonna cut a, uh, probably just a support, maybe a triangle support, a, a diagonal support, so that the door doesn't really go anywhere. And then we'll uh, cover it with chicken wire. And got my hinges that we'll be putting on here uh, as one of the last steps in the door. Um, we bought a couple small hinges for that step. So you'll see it in the completed uh, when it's up and hanging on the frame. Talk to you soon. Okay, here's the finished door. I'm gonna give you a look at this here. And I just added a support beam in the middle here and just cut a diagonal on at least one half of the door. Um, if I had some more two by fours, I might do the other half, but I don't. So this is gonna be good enough. 
Um, I'll probably turn it around and have the supported piece be on the bottom of the door. So next I'm gonna install the hinges. <laughs> what I have here is uh, some of these uh, three inch uh, with five eight inch radius, uh, just door hinge, basic door hinge from Home Depot and a gate latch. And that'll be the extent of the door. So once I get these hinges on and get the chicken wire on the door, it'll be done. Hey there, it's been a couple weeks since we've been living with the hoop house that we built. And I just wanted to show you a couple reinforcements I've had to put in because we've been getting some pretty crazy wind storms. And so um, generally speaking, it's been solid as a rock. The base is so heavy that the base doesn't move at all. Um, but as you can see, I did uh, tie down from the cattle panel all the way down to some nice, solid, deep stakes in the ground. I did that on three for three ropes on each side. When it comes to the greenhouse plastic, that was the big piece that kept on kind of flapping up um, during the wind storms. So what I eventually did was, uh, I started by stapling it to the wood to attach it. Then I added some poultry staples U-nails and that did okay, but then I braided a rope through the plastic and stapled that and you nailed that into the side and that actually held up a, even a little bit better. But recently we found out, uh, we heard a tip um, that if you put cardboard over the ends of the plastic and staple that down, that can help because it, it distributes, I'm guessing, it distributes the pressure on the plastic so that it's not it's less likely to tear when the wind gets going crazy from the staples so actually we did that a couple days ago added the cardboard on top of the plastic there and it seems to be working really really well i don't i haven't seen any issues the other thing and stephanie will give you a quick tour of the whole the whole deal um as you can see i did it on the other side too stephanie will give you a quick tour of the whole coop but what i wanted to just show you was this um Hi chickens, say good morning. Okay, they all wanna come out and free range for a minute. That's cool, good morning, Jack. Anyway, so, <laughs> so what I ended up doing was because with the wind storms, the cattle panel would really get pushed side to side. The base stays really steady, but the cattle panel itself with the plastic over it stays, it sways pretty heavily side to side. So, um, so we have the, so what I did here was I put some reinforced supports here. I, as you can see, I just ran a two by four across the width of the coop and then cut some two by fours to meet the two by four running across and then go straight up to the cattle panel. How am I doing this here? There. <laughs> so it goes up and meets this, this point on the cattle panel. And the way that I attached that to the actual cattle panel was simply with some U-nails on um, the top of it. So I didn't have to cut the top. It actually works better not cut because then I can attach the, it's the, the cattle panel kind of sets on top of the end of the two by four with some U-nails. So that works really well. And honestly, since I've added these three supports, now you do have to just step over them when you're collecting the eggs and stuff, but that's no big deal. Um, they're only two foot high. So, you know, I added those especially for the winter because of the wind storms and it's been crazy wind, but so far this thing has been solid as a rock. So no complaints there. So just wanted to show you some of those reinforcements <laughs> and the chickens are off and running and finding some bugs for breakfast. Yum. I wanted to do a inside tour 
they're being very loud an inside tour of the new chicken hoop coop so here we go okay so as we come in here we have got their water set up now this is a heated water container so we've got this plug ringing out here to our outdoor power strip and this is just really helpful when it gets below freezing their water doesn't freeze we don't have to come out here you know twice a day and check everything this is a nice big water seems to be doing really well and we've got the uh feed and water is attached to the roof of the cattle panels so that they don't get tipped over and just these really easy hooks so that we can um, get them on and off without having to untie the ropes so that's been really helpful we've got their nesting boxes over here um, that they hop into and then we went with these hanging feeders and we've got the pallet down there just so they're up off the, the grass and to just help keep um, that feeding area elevated so they're not right in the grass. Here's their roosting structure um, that they hop in and off of for nighttime. Although we've noticed sometimes they are getting into the nesting boxes for sleeping, which I don't love. So we might need to figure that out because they, they poop where they sleep. So I don't like that. Um, this is a little climbing frame that we built for them. Yes, I hear you. And um, we've got this back is open for ventilation, but we've got this tarp here for some wind protection. Here's a view looking out the front, and there you go. And as, sorry. <laughs> as you can see, another thing that we really like is it's nice and tall. Um, so I really like that. I don't feel like I'm stooping, crawling around in here, um, which is really nice. So far, we are liking the setup. Um, you know, there's just little iterations here and there as, as you go with a new project. Like we've had to put these frames in because we kept having some really high winds. Um, it makes it a little bit harder. We got to kind of climb over them to get around in here, which um, I don't love, but you know, it was the quickest and best solution for the, for the problem we were having. <laughs> there, there he is, Mr. Loud Man right there. Um, so, you know, we're seeing how it goes, but so far it's holding up really well and we like it and it seems to be um, doing the job we were hoping it would.